Okay, so this has come up enough in recent memory that I feel like I just need to go ahead and talk about it. Get it out there in the open and whatever the hell happens, happens. Because I honestly couldn't care less anymore. This is the most ridiculous, stupid thing ever. So a Twitter follower of mine tagged me in this today and it is a post on the Eminem Reddit. And the poster says, just want to remind you all that these are the same YouTube reactors you guys praise so much. You can see Knox Hill's on there, myself is on there, and Stevie Knight calling us spineless sellouts and that we're just pandering to a conservative crowd for that sweet, easy money whilst LARPing as rap fans when they are all just exclusively Eminem fans. Obviously pointing out the fact that we have reacted to Adam Calhoun and Tom McDonald. And then I have a song with Adam Calhoun. So a couple things to unpack here. I'm just gonna fucking ramble. So thing number one is Adam Calhoun is my real life friend. I love that man. He has quite literally talked me off the edge. And so for that, I'm always gonna be his friend. But just like every other one of my friends, I don't agree with everything that he does. I don't have to agree with everything my friends do in life. So what? Adam is a super hardcore conservative that believes in God. My own brother is an atheist and is the most liberal person I've ever met in my life and I love him to death. I would take a bullet for him. I have friends that I go eat with every Monday night at the bowling alley that hate rap music with a passion and that's what I do for a living. I don't surround myself with people that only like the same shit that I do. That's called an echo chamber. I surround myself with people that are good fucking people. You can be a good person and be conservative. You can be a good person and be liberal. Which leads me to my next point. I fucking hate politics. I talk about this every single time it gets brought up because of this reason right here. This person has never talked to me a day in my life, has no idea what my moral beliefs are, but because I'm reacting to somebody that believes something that is different than what they believe, immediately all this negative stuff is said about me. Spineless sellout. I made one political song way before I even started making actual music. I was still making Call of Duty videos back then, and I did a terrible job at explaining how I truly felt, immediately saw how divisive it was, and decided I would never ever try to do that again. And the only reason that it even still exists is because a fan of mine named Alex really loved that song and he passed away. Well for one, if you take a look at the videos that they've chosen of mine, they're all from over two years ago, and back then every Tom McDonald reaction I ever did was copyright claimed. Never made a dollar off of them. I reacted to them because a lot of people wanted me to react to him. I did a song with Adam because I think that he can rap good. Sure, he has his political songs, but most of his songs are about fighting and not giving up on life. That's the shit that I like from him. And that's the verse that he gave me on that song. Go listen to that song. There's not a single fucking political thing in that song. That song is about fighting through life and not giving up and not calling it quits on life. So it's hard to be a sellout and make easy money on something that you don't make money off of. But to further illustrate that point, now I can make money off Tom McDonough reactions or Adam Calhoun reactions because the person that runs their monetization as well as about 50 other artist is cool with me. So if I do a reaction to their song, I can send it over to him and be like, hey man, do you care to release this claim? And he'll release it for me. But go ahead and check how many Tom McDonald reactions I've done in the last two years. I've done two. The first one I did was Stronger, a song about not giving up on life and being a stronger person than you were the day before. Zero political aspects. The second one I did was the feature with Ben Shapiro that literally everybody asked me to react to. So if you want to say I'm a sellout for that specific song, sure, I'll give you that one. But in the song, I talked about how much I don't like politics. I also talked about why I hadn't reacted to Tom McDonald over the last two years is because everything was political. I even talked about how much hate and slack that I got from the hardcore Tom McDonald fans because I quit reacting to his political music. I lost thousands of subscribers because I said I was tired of hearing it. And then the one Adam Calhoun reaction I did was to a classic rap beat. So if you want to call me somebody that panders to a conservative crowd, I sure did a really shitty job at doing that. Especially considering all the other artists that I react to. I mean, you say that I'm exclusively an Eminem fan and he made a whole nine minute freestyle shitting all over conservatives, but it just takes one look at my channel to see how many other artists that I react to. I'm literally working on a Joyner Lucas album review right now, another super liberal artist. I have five signed canvases by Tech 9 and I've said it a thousand times that he's my favorite artist to ever exist. And I'm sure some of the people in this Eminem Reddit only know Tech 9 because he had a song with Eminem. But then I also react to NF who is very open about his Christian faith. But then I've also checked out Lil Uzi Vert who is literally a devil worshiper. So if I'm pandering to anyone, I guess you could say that I'm pandering to rap fans, which is myself. And as far as the political stuff goes, I care as much about politics as I care about what's better, broccoli or asparagus. I don't eat vegetables. Who fucking cares? I have viewpoints that align with conservative beliefs and I have viewpoints that align with liberal beliefs. But I'd say majority of the time I'm probably a little more conservative leaning. So there you go. If that's what you want to hear and that's what you care about the most, then I don't want you around to begin with. But okay, I'm done. See you guys later. Running down my face, tears are forming in my eyes. Father always told me pain is temporary, keep in stride. Lift your head up, don't you cry. Fighters always will survive. That hurt you feel inside can only mean that you're alive. Keep your head down and digging. God will provide you vision and lead you where you need to be. A future, shut up and listen and ignore the opposition. They just want your position. They want to ask you out like an atheist through the Christ and Christmas. So don't ever stray away from this path that you'll create. Get that tunnel vision. Don't you quit, keep working every day. So I made a promise to myself to win.
the sky, the angels are near. Came out the gutter with Pennywise, I was facing my fears. I made it out the streets, even though I was left to die. Still, I sprouted out the concrete despite the pesticides. Somehow I bloomed to a beautiful rose. I was consumed with the blues, such a musical soul. This industry is full of hardships and politics, but I will never call it quits. In fact, I want all of it. You see fire in my eyes, even though I'm criticized. I have been vilified, belittled. Mama said you entertain the clown and you become the circus. So tell them, Crip, we ain't stopping. Promise you will never change. We gon' be this fucking way until they put us in a grave.